Okay, round one, here's our opener. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's five lands, but we're running 16, so I shouldn't get punished for... Uh, I shouldn't get flooded, but, I mean, we still could. It's entirely possible. That was a good draw. It's going to buy us some time, ideally. All right, no two drop. I dig that. Ooh, that was a good draw. What do we got? Ember Beast? Okay. Corpse Blockade's pretty good. Uh, pretty good answer to that. I do kind of want to cipher onto this Demir Key Rune, I'm not going to lie. I feel like he would have a hard time dealing with that. Alright. I like late game. I like not getting aggroed down. Ooh, consuming aberration. Yeah, this feels like a pretty good time to play spy. <laughs> I'd prefer it if my aberration did not die to um, mugging, but I don't know if I have the luxury there. Wow. I really do want to... I think I'm going to drop the Aberration this turn, force him to have an answer to it. Because if he doesn't, he's in big trouble. But like I said, it does die to mugging. Oh, well, it's too late. Screw it. Ruination Worm, maybe? Oh, Rubble Hulk. No problem. Rubble Hulk I can handle. I'm soon going to be way bigger than him. He has no idea. So we grind him, see what we get. Oh, dude's getting big. Dude is getting big. Uh, do we want to call or paranoid delusions here? Call makes better use of the mana, and it gets it. Yeah, and it gets its chump blockers too. I think that's way more important. Now he's bigger than the Rubble Hulk. Um, I guess I can't quite attack in yet, so maybe it would have been better to do the paranoid delusions. But. Our aberration is going to get huge. Now we get to do aberration again, which is just obscene. Hit just huge amounts of cards on that one. So I think it would have been better to do paranoid delusions than I would have probably been able to swing. It, it all depended on how big that grind was. All right. Just folded to the aberration. That's cool. So he had a slow start. Looks like he could definitely have a quicker start. Um, we don't have much of a sideboard, unfortunately. But uh, deck worked out, so let's try it again. Oh, yeah. Another good hand. Good turn progression. No two drop. Ember Beast again? Oh, Crocodile. Alright. Crocodile is pretty good, but 
we can get by it with our rogue. So I think I'm actually going to do the, yeah, now I'm definitely doing the, the rogue first. I guess I could have attacked with gutter skulk. Faked like I had something. Ember Beast, not terrible. Uh, could have Skin Brand Goblin, so I don't think it's a good idea to attack there. But now I can't block, so I don't even know why he did that. Yeah, let's just push the damage through here. Ooh, Gore Clan Rampager and Skin Brand Goblin. This guy's got some good cards in there. Mind Eye Drake seems like he's going to be pretty important. I guess I can't do much about that. Alright, so falling behind pretty fast here. Uh, we were just a madcap skills away from getting wrecked. Uh, second spy, does that do anything? Hmm. Tough spot, tough spot. <laughs> best play. In order to know the best play, I should look at my out. So I have totally lost. I have totally lost. I have agoraphobia, and that's about it. Okay, that's not quite enough. Two cards, so maybe I leave back the Gutter Skulk to chump the Ember Beast, be willing to take five. Doesn't feel very smart to double block it, because his deck is just completely full of Blood Rushers. But um, I think I maybe just, yeah, play this, I attack with the Rogue and the Spy, play a Spy, pass. Maybe double block the Ember Beast. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. But I guess if I'm going to double block something, I might as well double block the Krakenura. Alright. Unfortunately, I think I, I have to do that. Which sucks. What'd I hit? Burst of Strength, Act of Treason, Forest. Alright. Um, yeah, it's pretty broken. It's pretty broken. Okay, so he's put me in a position where I can't really do anything. So I think what I have to do here is just take eight. He'll get an opportunity to kill me. Um, if he can, he can. I'm not going to play around it. Because um, I need to be able to double block the Krakenura next turn, else I'm just dead. I'm, I'm dead in so many different ways, it's actually ridiculous. But I, I don't think that I can actually chump the Ember Beast and be okay next turn. Because I still need to be able to double block this Krakenura. If I do block the Ember Beast... And he plays another creature, I'm just dead. If I block the Ember Beast and I get a mana to play the Mind Eye Drake, I'd still have to leave the Rogue back to double block the Krakenura. And that requires me to get a land. 
I think I actually have to just take it. He can kill me. Whatever. Rubble Hulk. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. You got it. Kling Anemones, maybe. This card's so bad. I should just run Kling Anemones, which is also bad, but... Less bad. Alright. Whatever. Yeah. It's pretty good. That was a good draw. Oh my god, he actually plays two drops? I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Call the Nightwing here would be Primo Magnifique. Nice. Let's live that dream. Puts us in a better racing position. Because now we can trade with the skin brand take the slaughter horn as long as he doesn't kill my death cult rogue here I may just want to leave out psychic strike to help protect him continue to get the chump blockers yeah we'll make him bust a blood rush for sure I don't even think that's good whatever Is that really that bad? It's not even that bad. He traded a burst of strength to make his guy bigger, but also... Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty strong. Shadow Slice could just take the game over. He's got Gruel Charm in his deck, so it makes actually more sense to double up on the Death Cult Rogue. As crazy as that is. But that clock is so fast. Let's do it. Let's get ballsy here. So, let's see. 2, 5. I could hit him for 6. That's where Consuming Aberration gets pretty silly. So, Gruel Charm could be a big deal. I don't think I can get him next turn anyway. So, probably still chumping this turn. Just doing a little dam damage prevention. I actually want to land next turn so I can do this plus the Psychic Strike. But otherwise I might just leave up the Psychic Strike, but I don't know. I don't know. I cannot counter Blood Rush, so Psychic Strike not quite as good. Alright, Chump Block.
All right. Okay. So I did get the mana I needed. That's good. Let's do this. Um, we get him next turn with this, so I guess we'll leave both our horrors back. And I like that I can sack stuff to Corpse Blockade to give Death Touch. Um, get back the Gore Clan Rampager. You know what? No. I'm not going to let him. <laughs> That's a funny way to lose. I wonder if he top decked that, so if my Psychic Strike... See, I, I didn't do the math. I should have. I think he would have been able to kill me, though. Yeah, he would have been able to kill me with the with the Rampager back. Because even if I had... What I, I'd block with this and probably double block another one. And then whatever one I put the two toughness behind, he would have gotten me with. That's too bad. Am I actually dead? I don't know, maybe I'm not dead. I don't have any rogues, though, right? So I go to one? Oh, any sort of uh, blood rush and I die? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Last card's blood rush, too. That's funny. Well, we lost. That's the way it goes down, huh? Lost to a bunch of blood rush and a bunch of good spells. So we were close. Almost got there. Almost. Not quite, though. But it was fun. See you next time.